All right. In a society that values youth and beauty, getting cosmetic procedures is nothing new. But with nearly 150 procedures and counting, not many have gone to the extremes that Justin Jedlica has. And he joins us on the couch. It's great to have you back. Thank it's you. Nice Good morning. See you Good again. to see you again as well. First off, a little bit of news. So you got married. I did. I did. Uh, civil union in June and married in July. What's that like? <laughs> you know, this is working on five years now in our relationship, so um, it's an exciting change for us. I, I relocated to Chicago. Uh, I have stepkids now, so wow. <laughs> it's 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 been a change, but for the better. Well, congrats to you. So let's talk about some of the procedures you've had now. Almost 150. I think it's been a year since I've been here. Yeah, so we've been... had 150 procedures. Just yesterday was my 150th. Um, what did you have what was yesterday? yesterday? Can you tell us? I had a chem peel on my face. Oh, okay. Yeah, just to sort of freshen everything up. But <laughs> uh, now. They call you the human Ken doll. They do. Yeah. Does, the, that, does that bother you? Do you, uh, or do you own that, or you? I mean, I love it. I think it's flattering. The, the the title is 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 really something very sweet to have. I mean, it was an inspiration piece in my remodel for sure, but not the only thing I've but taken into consideration. What exactly happened? It started off with just a nose job when you were like 18 or something. Right. And I had from my there, first how did this all turn into all these other surgeries? Um. You know, I, it just it, initially it was something I needed to fix, I think, for myself. It, it was like a big hang up for me. Mm -hmm. And then what it ended up turning into was, you know, a few years later, I thought, well, maybe I'll, I'll work on this and, and I can tweak this and, and that. And, and my ideal of beauty changed over the years to something that uh, really led me to, to find this to be an art form for myself. And I, I don't necessarily see a flaw with a lot of the things now that I'm modifying, but it's really the excitement of being a pioneer in the field of aesthetics and being the first person to do a lot of these new procedures that I'm undertaking. I have two more actually booked at this point. What are the next what? two you're going to do? I'm doing latissimus implants for the, the wings on the back, and wow. then I'm doing an eight-pack abdominal implant. Well, what do you but have now, a six? So you got to <laughs> upgrade to two I more? I don't know. I think I do okay. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, I'm lean. Wait, okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be crass or anything. How much of this, uh, what work was done there? Natural. This is natural. No liposuction. That's, no. So th this is just from, from working out, right? I don't you, work out. You don't work out at all? No, none. Zip, zero, you don't work out at all. Oh, it's so not And you probably don't eat well, yeah, yeah, but, but what kind of a message, <laughs> though, does that send that, that you don't have to work out, you can just go to the plastic surgeon? Well, I mean, I think a lot of what I had is based on gen good genes, you know, from, from my parents. But, um, I mean, I think that, you know, no matter for me how I got it, I have it. I mean, I, I enjoy the look that I have and that I've created. Um, I think I definitely own it. I don't know that the message is for everybody to emulate what I'm doing, but I think that if it helps in building confidence and self-esteem, then it's worth the investment in yourself. Hmm. Now, what do your family and friends think? You know, my family is really very supportive. I initially, of course, they were a bit put off. They didn't really understand why. I felt like I needed this in my life, and I think over time they've realized this is a true passion for me. It's working its way into becoming, hopefully, what will become a beauty brand. And, um, you know, my, my celebrity is sort of helping me help other people. We have a plastic surgery consulting and referral service that we're working with now to help pair individuals with specialists. So all that heartache I went through over the years trying to find the doctors to create the look I wanted, now I can sort of share that knowledge and that information and help people to sort of do everything from custom implants, which you talked about last time. Um, onto you know these new procedures that you know I'm pioneering on my own and there are other people that come to me and they have sort of their own thoughts on on different uh, innovations of surgeries that are already out there and correct, we can help with that correct me if I'm wrong but is the price tag still about hundred and fifty thousand dollars I think we're at hundred and seventy thousand right now and that doesn't include the ten thousand dollar deposit I put in last week how, uh, how high will you go how, sorry how, hubby how, <laughs> I didn't I tell him yet what, what were you doing to finance all this so I mean over the years I mean it was just something that was extremely important to mm -hmm. me so, you know, when I was single, obviously, I, I, I worked uh, a job where I did faux painting, interior designing. Um, you know, I waited tables for years when yeah. I was a kid. Everything, uh, you, I run the gamut of things. And, and now that I'm in a place where I'm married with my spouse, I don't need to work. And, you know, we sort of had the luxury to be able to travel a lot. And it's not a big deal for yeah. him to sort of allow me to realize my dream and my passion. And, and, and the, the monetary portion of this isn't really what stops me or gives me any sort of hesitancy anymore. But you're also looked to as, as an authority on... on obviously the remodel as you talk about it and you made some comments recently about the human Barbie <laughs> this is this this yeah. Russian Russian model Valeria yeah um, you know we met each other uh, way back when on, on another television show and uh, our uh, interaction was a little bit stiff you're not a fan yeah um, I don't really understand the enamorment with her from the public uh, she she sort of came into the scene under the co uh, under these coattails of a plastic surgery story and there really isn't one so she's only so had she said she didn't have any plastic surgery beyond that, that it's it's stage makeup, so it's makeup and it's and it's extreme Photoshop 
and while she's a cute girl and the images are pretty, they're not real. Well, you actually did the same thing. You kind of dressed up as her. We actually have a picture to show that makeup can make someone look a certain way. So I let's did. take a look at that if we can pull that out. <laughs> I don't know if we... Maybe, yep, there it so is. So that's you. This is you. me. This is me post-stage makeup and Photoshop. <laughs> so we can all be Barbie if we want, yeah. right? I mean, I mean, I live with a conviction for my surgeries, right? I wake up and I go to bed looking like this. This, mm -hmm. this is me 24-7. So whether people like it or they hate it, I, I live with a strong conviction yeah. towards how I look and I enjoy it. Now, but this, this person is not living like that on a day-to-day. -day. You know, moreover, it's sort of like, what are you doing with the celebrity that's come to you because of sort of what I consider a lie, really. Um, you know, so now we have this new piece in, in GQ, GQ we were yeah. both yeah. in, and she's sort of talking about um, the degeneration of our culture because of race mixing and that the mm. ideal standards of beauty don't exist anymore because of uh, the different intermixing of the races. This is like this aerial idea, this, this, this Nazism now that she's wow. telling kids, wow. like, you, you're not really whole and you can't yeah, look forget beautiful. Forget about Barbie, we like you, Ken. Thank you for coming <laughs> Thank in today, you. really, you yeah. look great. Nice cheekbones. Yeah. Appreciate it. Wow. All the best. All right, so thank you again for coming in. And